What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to revive old nuts and bolts using a tap and die. So guys, this is going to be a quick short video of basically how you can use a tap and die to revive old nuts and bolts that you take off cars and then basically don't reuse on the car. But trust me, nuts and bolts are great to have in a pot. If, like me, you're an amateur mechanic, trust me, nuts and bolts are just things you really, really want inside a pot somewhere. So if you have lots of old hardware that you keep off old projects um, and basically the nut and bolt doesn't do up very well anymore, um, instead of chucking it away, I'm going to show you how you can revive the splines and remove some of the rust and grit so you can effectively make them spin up and down just like new. So uh, let's jump in. Uh, so guys, if we take our a really dirty rusty bolt um, nothing wrong with this at all it's just dirty so I, I always like to try and reuse nuts and bolts if I can I'd never really put them back on a car um, always get new hardware but basically if I take the nut and try and run it up and down that thread what you'll find is that eventually when it gets to this horrible crusty white bit here I start getting resistance and I physically can't turn it anymore so basically how we can clean up this so it's actually a really nice nut and bolt again we use our tap and die set so my tap and die set i have here obviously i've been using a few but what i like about this is it actually uh labels the different sizes of the thread so m3 all the way up to m12 uh you do get bigger splines but obviously you'll have to you know buy more sets effectively for that but what i like is that say for example you're using like the m8 here you know that the ones directly above it correspond with that number effectively so that you'll use that die and that tap effectively so it's easy as that so what I'll sh what I'm going to show you is how we uh, do that in a vice uh, so guys we've got the bolt now in the vice I've worked out that it's an m8 size thread so we take the m8 die put it in the uh, die spinner thing here tighten it down and then we give it just a just a little help in the lube just to ease it up a little bit because this will generate a lot of friction and then you just want to slowly but surely start turning on the die until you find it starting to grip the threads like a normal nut and bolt would do and then effectively just keep spinning it round you'll feel quite a lot of resistance which is why we use the lube so if you feel quite a lot of resistance use more lube and make sure the splines are uh, married up and you'll feel it getting easier as we start going down because it's starting to move all that crud out of the way spin it all the way to the bottom like so once you've reached the bottom then come back and if you need to go back and forth a few times like this just to sort of ease any dirt and crap out of the way then do that you know but make sure the uh, splines are lined up obviously you'll end up eating into the metal so spin it all the way off take that off like that simple as a little bit little bit of hot guys you'll notice from the friction now if you notice we've uh, definitely cleaned up all the uh, crap and crud and white and all that stuff that was in the different splines so basically what we're going to do now is do the nut uh, so guys the nut is basically the same principle only you'll be putting the uh, tap through instead so basically that was an m8 screw thread so you want to use the m8 size uh, tap put it in your tap spinner then uh, put your nut inside your vise make sure it's nice and tight get your tap place it in the splines sort of start spinning you'll feel it go Use a bit of lubricant if you need to, just to sort of ease it down. Luckily that wasn't too bad, that nut, so it was definitely the bolt that was causing the resistance. Spin it out. Oh, careful not to break anything. And there we go, that's that. So now guys, the moment of truth. Did that help that nut and bolt basically become almost like new? Here's the moment of truth.
<laughs> there we go guys without any uh resistance at all on that that was completely smooth now i know we've still got some of the wd-40 still on there but completely smooth motion no resistance whatsoever so that is effectively almost like a brand new nut and bolt so if you ever need a project where you need like a nut and bolt you've got one i i spend my free time sometimes doing this sort of thing with old nuts and bolts because i, I find you can resurrect them uh, from their dead life if you just use a tap and die just to get some of the crap away from the splines because that's usually what causes them to have the uh friction you can imagine years and years of use on a car it's to see much road grime salt oil all that sort of stuff dust it's going to embed itself inside here and it's going to become really clogged and it's going to give you resistance when spinning on and off and it's obviously going to chew the threads if you keep doing that so just by cleaning up your nuts and bolts you can make really good nuts and bolts sets you can have in a nice pot because I always keep nuts and bolts off projects if I don't need them because they're really hard to come about some of the some individual sizes especially on cars so there we go guys uh, that's basically using a tap and die in its most simplest form um, there's something I do a lot because obviously like I said at the start of the video having um, that basically old hardware that's you can revive to be almost new is a real lifesaver in some instances when you're making things and just sort of building stuff um, and guys, the tap and die kit didn't cost me much. Like I've always said in my videos, every every time I'm not a, a trained mechanic in any way, this is all DIY. I've learned all this stuff by reading books, watching videos, stuff like this effectively, just DIY tutorials. If you want to try this, you know, get yourself a tap and die set, get yourself some old nuts and bolts and see if you can revive them because it's a really good way of basically saving yourself some money if you need a nut and bolt somewhere down the line. Um, and you say you've got a pot of nuts and bolts like I do, where all of a sudden you find one that is the exact size you need or the exact shape you need. Because trust me, some car nuts and bolts, they're like really individual. Um, so you're going to want, you know, parts of another car. Basically, quick story time. My Fiesta, I, my second car was a Fiesta. I still got some of the nuts and bolts off my old Fiesta in a pot. And trust me, they have been lifesavers when it comes to sort of changing things where you need a real individual size bolt. But guys, basically, I, I just want to sort of put it out there. Like, I, I really love anyone that tries this sort of stuff. Um, we live in such a world with like a throwaway society. And I hate that because you can use anything to make anything else. It's amazing what you can use your hands and, and tools with to basically build and create new things. And I, I, I love anyone that gives that a go because, trust me, it, in this world of technology, we're literally using the losing the ability to use our hands. So just by doing stuff like this, it's a real, real treat to sort of see. And I love doing stuff like this. Yes, it's really weird and probably mundane but I, I, some of you out there will understand that using your hands is a dying art and people who do this you know it's great i think you can learn so much about cars you can learn so much about how technology works and how things work together and, and basically just how tools work because without them we'd have never got this far in civilization in my mind and obviously that's that's correct so you know get out there and try it yourself because i i just really encourage you and want you to try it because trust me if you can get into doing this sort of stuff you'll you'll never be bored <laughs> but guys i hope you've liked the video let me know what you think so i want to do a few more of these tiny little sort of like diy sort of things um i know that some people in the past said they're really helpful so i'm gonna to want to do some more of them so let me know what you think uh, but as anyway guys make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video